everyone, and welcome back to Old Mods 9. We are back, and in the last episode, I believe we set up our squid spawner over here. It's a nice looking structure we made, it's sort of just a fish tank, realistically. Um, but there are lots of things wrong with it, like a, an outstanding amount of things wrong with it. Um, for starters, apparently I'm completely wrong in that the spawner needed to be in a um, river biome with a certain Y level and whatnot. Um, I think that's if you're wanting to make a vanilla spawner, you know what I mean? As in like, not with a physical mob spawner, but just actually have them naturally spawn. Um, this guy just needs water, uh, apparently. Um, and so we actually have a few ways to deal with that if we wanted to move it. I'm kind of, I don't mind it being here. We'll just probably have to make it a little bit better, um, as it is. But if we wanted to put it in this system, um, the trick would be to put a dragon egg on it. And that would make it so that it ignores all spawn conditions. One of those being the water spawn condition. So that, that, that's a cool idea. Um, I actually went ahead and I've filled out this clipboard with that stuff. So um, Maya the Nerd and Dra uh, Drakenden. Dra Dra I'd say Drakenden. Let me know if that's wrong. Um, they suggested that. So I've gone through and we've got pretty much last episode's uh, comment section <laughs> pretty much blasted on here um, with, with who said it. So I'll be trying to tick off some of that stuff. Um, but in the meantime, what we can actually do is if we have chorus, I think it's just a normal chorus fruit, we can put that on a spawner to remove the spawned entity's AI. Because currently, these squid are like swimming away and stuff. I kind of want them to just fall into the magma. As horrific as it is, it's what I want to happen. Um, and once again, thank you to Quetzalism uh, for that suggestion there. So we'll give it a shot. I still don't know if they're swimming or if it, they're just sort of bugging out a bit. Regardless, I'll apply it. So now... There's no brain there. If we wanted to, I'm just trying to think, was there any other way that we could do? Obviously, there's fans and stuff that we could do. I'd rather not have to, but I mean, the options are there. I think that was pretty much the main thing. Yeah, the other one was just doing fans. I reckon I'll manually kill these guys, and we'll see if all future squid um, actually fall. How does that sound? I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. I'll tell you what. I, I think that's exactly what's happening. They're just aiming straight down. And, well, things are happening. So, let me grab this out of here. <laughs> and so this is just going to turn into literally a squid farm. Uh, as we wanted. Uh, there will be a few things we have to do. <sighs> what do we want to do? <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to sophisticate this chest. So we're going to do that with this guy here. The reason we're going to do that... Um, is so that we can get that same void upgrade that we were messing around with uh, previously. This one here. Void selected items in a filter. Void items selected in filter. Hmm. I mean, I think that's what I want. I'm just trying to think because we have a pretty cool upgrade on one of the other ones. So this one here. Um, void any. Allows single slot to be filled with the item and voids anything that overflows. I do kind of like that. But, what we'll probably have to do is, I guess, be a little bit smarter. Um, so, if I do this, does that work? If I place this, does that void it? No. Okay. So, what I could do, for an example, is I could line up some of that stuff. Maybe oh, maybe like that. Um, do we want calamari? I, I don't really. So, what we'll do is we'll just leave that blank. And then, every other spot will fill in with squid ink, since that's obviously what we want. Um, hmm, I wonder, can I have it like, rem slot memory settings? Okay. Interesting. Hold, hold on, hold on. We, we can, we can make this work. I'm going to remove that, remove that, make that squid. Oh, wait, no, I've already, ah, <laughs> slot memory settings. Unselect all slots. There we go. Okay, let's go back. Uh, we'll keep one of those since they're just going to spawn. Okay. I'm happy with this then. Ah, uh, am I? Not really. Let's do that, and let's do that, and let's do that. Okay, I'm happy with this. So we're going to go into our settings. We're going to go into slot memory settings, and we're going to do select all. These are all now remembered, I guess you could say. Um, and so, if I go back, if we remove these, only ink sacks will be able to go into this slot, etc., etc. And then I think if I switch this guy to block, any extra calamari, for example, should get voided. So, um... Yeah, so I think if we just wait it out, 
it should go up to... Well, I guess I can shift click these in. Hmm. Maybe not. Interesting. Um, works in GUI. Is that what I want? And then I click block. Yeah, there we go. And now we'll just void this stuff. If you have this guy, so it works um, with the other upgrades slash automation, that's when you're not in the chest. So we want this. Ah, uh, he doesn't really matter either way. We can leave him as he is. And this guy should stay empty, and yet we should still be getting stuff. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> like, it genuinely is pretty cool. Now, the sound is pretty gross. We can as well, if I want to, we could chuck in a piece of wool just to, just for the sake of it, I guess. So let's break that. Let's grab out our slab. Jump under here, place that in. And now all the mobs that it spawns from now on won't make noise. See? Pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and tick that off. That is done. We did the chorus thing. Um, next up is a pretty good one. Stack upgrades for the mob chest. Um, Quetzalism and Drakenden uh, also suggested that. This guy over here, like, it looks horrific in here. It is horrific. If we get stack upgrades, we can put all of this stuff just... Well, into a stack, and I think that will actually benefit us like crazy. But to leave that into another suggestion as well, um, from Alteran, let's get the requesters set up and, and make some more recipes because once again, there's so many things that we're still just doing manually, and it's it's pretty dumb. It, it just is. So um I kind of like this guy being just one. What I'll do is I'll get another requester. You know what? This guy should keep a requester requested. <laughs> How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. There are higher tier requesters. They're not too bad. I mean, it's a lot of iron. I mean, this guy's fine at the moment. Uh, the main reason I haven't really been upgrading um, my stuff is because they're kind of expensive and we didn't really have... Well, we didn't have the mining dimension, right? So, like, in terms of resources, I still felt like we were kind of limited. Now that we've got an insane reactor, I could probably have this guy actually be breaking every block, not just um, the ores, which we had. So, you know what? I might actually do this. And we'll really... We'll kit this guy out. Oh, there's actually a lot we can do. Currently, he has no power, which is embarrassing because we genuinely have an astronomical amount of power in this guy. Hey, how, how much is it? What, what's the number we're looking at here? Um, he can store 500 mil. That's pretty good. That's, uh, that, that's pretty good. Um, well, uh, there's a few things I'm going to do. First is, I'd like to automate a better ender gate. Oh, there, oh, there's so much to do in it, and it's awesome because we're pretty much at the point where we can. You know what I mean? This guy does one mil a tick. I would like that. I don't know how much effort it will take, but I would like it. Um, energy cable. I'm going to just make a fresh one. It's pretty expensive, to be honest. That's fine. We'll pretend it's fine. Um, so, none of these actually go over there. I don't know why I did that. All of these are just normal crafting recipes that just go on a good old-fashioned crafter, which we'll also probably upgrade. So, in here, um, Ender Gate. I can now hopefully order one of these. It says we can. It's going to craft a Nitro Crystal, which means it's going to use a Nether Star, so it's a bit of a process, but it will make it, and then we can turn on the build Quarry and stuff, so that should be good. Um, this guy over here, I'm going to... I am going to remove this filter and restart him. And we're going to pretend like that's A-OK. -okay. <laughs> that's that's the idea, at least. Um, what are we looking at? Are we just waiting on the final bit? Yeah, we're just waiting on that. It, it honestly, it shouldn't take that long because... Well, it just didn't take that long in the past. I'm kind of just stalling, you know what I mean? But um, <laughs> I'm sure it'll happen. Right, guys? <laughs> um, in the meantime, the requester should be available. Requester, beautiful. So this guy will continue down our path, I guess. Um, this one, I'm going to have him store five of an item. And then this guy's going to have like the importer and all that sort of stuff. So an importer, an exporter. I'll do the ones that I can think of. And then we'll check out that list that um, Alteran made. Because I'm sure that there's some other stuff that like <laughs> you guys have had the pain of watching me just make over and over again. Instead of just, instead of just crafting them. Um, that's all I remember. <laughs> what were the other ones? Um... Importer, exporter, external storage, crafter, a storage part. I don't think... Uh, honestly, a storage part is good to have one spare just so that if the storage is full, I can quickly fix it. You know what I mean? It, it is actually a pretty good uh, pretty good idea. Um, yeah, yeah, and the storage housing, okay. And then the pipe upgrades. Oh, yes, yeah, definitely. Um, as well as stack upgrades, I think, for our um, chest. I want to add those as well. So, um, 
Yeah, cool. So we could probably five crafters. I don't think we need five crafters. Probably just do one. Um, so yeah, in terms of upgrading crafters, we probably can now. Like we've got a lot of resources. <sighs> yeah, okay. Um, let's go storage part. Let's store a 64k, why not? Um, and a storage housing to make that complete product. I probably could just have the recipe for the finished thing. It does. Either way, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, so, what's next? Well, we need more crafting recipes. But we need more uh, crafting space. And I could make more crafters or we can try to see if we can push for an upgrade. I'll tell you what. We'll do that in a second because I imagine our ender gates are ready. Um, and I want to get this guy up and running. Um, before we forget. Oh, it's raining in here. That should fix itself <laughs> with our machines, our various machines. Okay, so, boom. This guy is now powered. Literally, the potential of one mil per tick. Now, I don't think our guys can do that. I think we've got like 100k per tick set up. Uh, but it is optional. It's an option for the future. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this guy off. I'm going to pick this guy up. I'm going to click reset. Reset again. And I'm going to click start. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And so now... Oh, it's still... Hmm. Interesting. He's only getting about 5,000... He's only getting 5,000 despite... Hmm. Is this a limit of the builder itself? And not an actual limit of... Us? Do we... I think in the past, we actually may have set up like an ender gate... Oh, sorry, an entangled block for this guy... And done all that. Now, I can't access him from here because we're still just stuck on the good old-fashioned guy. If we can zip in this direction, we can have a look at what should be happening. This is... That down there is the speed at which it's going, which is pretty decent. It's... Like, that's pretty good. He's obviously just got to catch up. And for a while, he literally won't be getting any ores, which is a little bit embarrassing. Um, because obviously, we've, we've just been mining them. The benefit of this is I'm going to have all the modium available because it'll be the only stuff left. And that's worth it, maybe? Maybe not forever, but uh, I think for now it is. So I'm going I'm to leave that as it is. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Entangled block. I do want to give this a shot. Ah. Uh, hmm. What if I just grab another ender gate and just try that? So currently, this guy here, he's 100% infused, by the way, so he's faster than your normal guy. Um... At the top here, he reckons he's getting about 5,500 EU per tick. If I chuck a second one on here, yeah, he goes up to 10,000 uh, EU per tick. So he's so he's getting about 40,000 um, forge energy. He looks like he's somehow caught up. Or at least he's somehow making, receiving more energy than he is uh, expending. Which I'll be honest, is very weird. I wonder if that means he's up to like Deep Slate or, or maybe even Endstone and it's hard to mine. I don't know. I don't know. He's sort of picking and choosing when he's uh, difficult to mine. Either way, I think it's fine. Um, we do have options, by the way. There is a block called the Chunk Destroyer. And from memory and from hearing you guys, this guy's pretty powerful. And can be, I believe he can be enchanted. Yeah, with like fortune and stuff. So, and efficiency. So, this is an option in the future that we probably will get. But for now, we'll, we'll be happy. There's, also, there's honestly so many different things available. Um, what are we doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to quickly, before we continue, <laughs> I know we keep getting sidetracked. How's this guy doing? Is he good? Because he's going to be getting a lot of this stuff now. We may be able to put some stack upgrades in, which I guess is what I'm working on now. So we'll continue with what we're doing and everything will be bundled up in a beautiful bow at the end. <laughs> or at least that's what it's, um, sort of looking like. Okay, so if I would like a crafter iron tier, this guy's pretty good. We can make him. We've made a few of him before. If I want gold, it gets a little bit tricky. Um, first of all, the iron one, that's just iron, okay. The gold one needs gold blocks and neural processors. Of course. Of course. <laughs> a neural processor is a smelted raw neural processor. Mm -hmm. We'll put the smelting stuff on the left. And this guy is going to be crafting table, obsidian, and some of the other goodies. Not too bad. Not the, not the worst recipe I've ever seen. Um, we do actually have four spots in here, so that's perfect. And then we have the smelting recipe there. So I can allegedly order a golden crafter. Now, this guy not only holds more stuff, he goes from holding 27 stuff to uh, 45, 
but he's also five times faster at literally everything, um, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll sort our inventory and we'll pick this guy up and place him. How does that sound? So place gold crafter, chuck in all of this stuff and we'll use the crafter to make the crafter. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice. So yeah, he gets um, an extra two rows. Beautiful. Um, can we push this? What does a diamond crafter cost? Um, just the same neural processes, only this time blocks of diamond. This is where it's sort of going to be, uh, a limitation on your resources, especially once we get to netherite. We do have ancient debris being mined now. So like 105, it's not a crazy amount, but it, it's, you know, it's there. <laughs> um, in terms of diamonds, we actually have a thousand diamonds. Yes. Yeah, so we can definitely push for diamond crafters. That, that, that'll be doable. Um, yeah, let's, we'll, we'll get one made. Um, the only other thing is going to be gold and stuff like that. I think we may want to start considering, like, I don't want to do it this episode, but we, I should mentally prepare myself for a future episode, um, to start doing ore processing because currently we're still kind of not doing that, which is honestly pretty weird, but I guess it's fine. All right. We'll try to make this mess. All right, sweet. Um, so diamond crafter done. Uh, the benefit of this guy as well is we can obviously fit a lot more stuff in there so we can clean up floor space. The only problem is we're going to have a lot more of these than we are requesters. <laughs> uh, but that, you know, it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, oh yeah, by the way, the diamond crafter is 25 times faster. So there is a benefit to using them aside from just storage space. Like if you don't mind having them everywhere, it's still, you know, you still want to consider doing it. Um, all right. Two should be enough, so we'll get another one of these. Um, and maybe... I, I will keep it crafty here, because... Look, I, I, I have this thing, <laughs> right? Where, like, I... If I'm automating just, like, a machine, I'll still just use a normal crafter. Like, just a tier one crafter. Because, like, this thing doesn't need a diamond crafter on him. You know what I mean? He, he just doesn't. He, just, he, he does one item at a time. And... and I don't know if it does help the server, but I like to pretend that it does. I do know that these guys are more expensive. I don't know if it's dependent on how many um, uh, patterns are in there. It kind of does look like that because this guy's less than this guy and they're the same block. But I, I don't know. I don't know. But be, be prepared for that because you will be seeing more of me um, not using the best of the best stuff. <laughs> it's, honestly, it's a trend at this point. Um, with that being said... Ah, uh, I'll just order one whenever we need it. We don't need these guys that often. All right, cool. And there we go. Cool. Um, so yeah, now we've got more room. Honestly, not that much room, but I guess we condensed it all. Um, so now we can go ahead and make some of this other stuff. So the stack upgrades, I definitely want to do it. Looks like we will need more patterns though. Can I go for like 20? Beautiful. Uh, did we have... I thought we brought um, the iron guy over here. Is that, did we not do that? Is that guy still chilling over in the hills? <laughs> I think he must be. I, I Honestly, I don't even think we... Oh, yeah, he's in here, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, okay. Or, listen, all processing, it's... It's in the forefront of my mind. <laughs> yeah, we, we've got... Oh, God. That's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm telling me, by the way. I'm not telling you guys. Everything is fine. We can do this. Um, what I also want to do is disk manager, a disk um, manipulator, they call it. Okay, yeah. I'd like one of these. Possibly an upgraded version. So we'll see if we can, you know, push it further. Um, reason being, of course, is I want to start emptying our um, drives and just have like a 64K in here instead of all these 4Ks as well. Uh, I feel like we will want to upgrade this guy. You know what I mean? So if we can just... Oh, he costs... Why does he cost blocks and more? We'll, we'll see if we can get away with it. Um, so I'm going to place him here. Purely for aesthetic reasons. There we go. Um, take out 64k. Take out the rest of our stuff. Um, 64k... Oh, no, wait, sorry. 64k there. And then have these go in. And then what we can do as well... Um, I don't know if we have the stuff to do this because I took all the drives out. <laughs> um, but once again, in theory, we can... Um... Yeah, hold on. Hold on. We can put a stack upgrade in here is, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I'm doing a poor job at it. Let's get stack upgrade and three speed upgrades. And that, that 
Should be good enough. We shouldn't have to make a whole new thing. Honestly, that's actually a good one as well. I do use stack upgrades a decent amount, to be honest. Let's keep one stack upgrade just waiting for me. That sounds like the play. All right, three speed upgrades, cool. So we can chuck those in there, wonderful. And let's start taking this stuff out and see if we can fill up this other guy. So I'll do the one case first. <laughs> We've only got one. So yeah, it, if it's a stack of items, so for example, if it comes across 64 cobble, it'll move it all. If it comes across um, 15 inferium, I think it'll just move 15. It won't move 15 and, you know, half a stack of something else. It'll just move whatever that stack of items is. Um, and so it's a bit of a slow process, but um, obviously there's some upgrades you could get if you wanted <laughs> and it will, uh, yeah, it'll put the stuff into the network, which is pretty cool. Sweet. And then we can look over here and this guy is slowly but surely filling up, which is nice. The problem is he might be filling up other stuff too. I could just set this guy to a higher priority, but I, I'll trust the previous me. So, so we'll keep that going. All right, so I've already changed my mind. I want to upgrade this guy. <laughs> I want to see the difference. I want to witness it. Um, oh, I just put in empty 1K. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll split these up while I can, I guess. Cool. So I'll pick up the disc manipulator because we're obviously going to need, what, four of these guys. I could auto craft this, like I could make recipes for this, but once you craft this guy, in theory, you don't need another one. So I'm just going to manually work my way through these. Should probably also look in uh, the quest. I'm sure there's like a a bunch of uh, redeemable stuff. All right. Luckily, this stuff's pretty quick at crafting. All right, we've got disc manipulators. We now need iron into a block. Surprised we don't have that auto craftable, to be honest. We can do seven. I think I only need four for now, so that's a benefit. And then uh, boom, 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 boom. Cool. Elite Disc Manipulator. If we want to upgrade this guy again, a bunch of diamonds and a bunch of Elite Disc Manipulators. So not fun. I'm going to put the same upgrades in there because why not? Um, we'll grab out this guy again with all these friends. This time it looks like there's a little bit more room. 64k. No, sorry. I instantly forget how to do it. 64k stays there. And the rest of these go in here. And they should be faster. I mean, yeah, it looks like they're doing a lot more. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if it just allows for more storage or, or what, but... I don't know. It's fine. I'll, do, I'll probably just wait here then. All right, well, I'll tell you what, while that's happening, let's go ahead and get more patterns. <laughs> there we go. And let's actually make those stack upgrades. I don't really know why we stopped, but I'm sure we had a good reason. So, uh, logs and this guy, I think that's fine. I, arguably, I do want it to be uh, specifically oak logs since we have those like being farmed at the moment. I should probably also hook these up to the system if they're not already, but I'm going to do that. And I think I'll do exact just so it doesn't use like a rare log that we have. You know what I mean? That'd be pretty embarrassing. Um, upgrade base. We'll add again. Uh, yeah, we'll make sure it uses oak planks. Sure. Do we have uh, planks auto craftable? I don't think we do. Oh, we do. Cool. Um, sweet. So we've got that. We've got that. Let's go back to stack upgrade. Um, Boom. I guess this is where we start getting stuff like the got iron blocks and stuff. We, when we do the ore processing, we could just keep stuff in drawers. These shouldn't need to be exact, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, okay. I think we're good. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to like convince myself that everything's fine. I think everything's fine. Boom. Oh, this guy's done. So everything is currently in here. Is that what they're saying? Allegedly. Boom, 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 boom. And one lucky last, boom, cool. And these can go towards another one in the future. Wonderful, <laughs> sweet, cool. Okay, so we've got stack upgrades available now. So I could order five. Allegedly I can, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll happily take it. Now with the diamond crafted, this should be pretty quick. I've ordered five of these. Oh, it reckons it's done. Yep, there it is, cool. I will take it. So for starters, this guy over here, what does he need? He could do with two more. And these are the max tiers. So there we go. This guy's now ready to go. Awesome. Um, next up will be our other guys over here. I guess we can order more if we need to when we get there. Um, so this guy here. This is going to get messy. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to say it only works with other upgrades. That way it's not going to void stuff at the moment. For example, if I pick this up and place it, 
doesn't get voided. Whew. Um, we're going to put in, I guess, just two stack upgrades at the moment. We might have to upgrade the chest itself. Chest upgrade. Nope. Um, at sophisticated. Um, we want to go from gold to diamond, I believe. Um, and we can go from diamond to netherite. Hmm. I won't do that. <laughs> um, but there we go. All right. He can store at least one more, which we have. Awesome. Now, if I sort, everything is within a stack, which is nice. Um, I'm going to sort by count. There we go. I think I'm also going to place this up here. Uh, well, I wanted to. Because I feel like, yeah, we're going to get a lot more of that. Um, and then we just leave it as it is, I think. Potentially. Maybe. I think so. I, I, I think this should work. Cool. All right. So yeah, um, what we can do now as well is if I get um, a lever, because these guys we turned off last episode by giving them redstone control. I don't need redstone control, but I guess when in Rome, we can turn that stuff on. And that should, uh, that should work out quite well, I'd imagine. Cool. All right, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> so um, if we grab this guy back, what have we done? Stack upgrades were done. Cool. The request to stuff we've done. We'd still need to do pipe upgrades. I guess we'll do that. We, we may as well since we're, uh, since we're here. Um, so what that is, is not only the recipes for pipes, which we don't even have, which will be quite beneficial, uh, but also the recipe for um, the pipe upgrades, obviously. So we'll do energy pipes. We could just do, do universal. I kind of like keeping them separate because then you can sort of control what they connect to. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, you can with the wrench, but I just, I don't know. It's nice just running a liquid pipe past something that won't accept liquids and not worry about it. Um, and then we'll do these upgrades. One, two, three. And, oh, and I'll, I'll have to try to remember to fix the netherite upgrade. We don't necessarily have to go to this. We'll have the option available, I guess. Chuck all this stuff in there. Um, why is that the one thing that changes? Oh, because I've got it on me instead of in here. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, where are we getting this netherite scrap? Um, scrap. This guy reckons he'll craft a scrap out of an ancient debris. Is that in the squeezer that that's happening? Because otherwise it has to smelt it. And I don't... Like, I don't think we set up a smelter. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? But with that being said, I don't know where that would where that guy would be. I think there is, um, crafting... There's a crafting monitor. A crafting grid. And I swear there's another thing that lets you find patterns. Um, pattern grid. Hmm, indeed. Crafting monitor. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that. Oh yeah, why didn't this work? I don't know why this didn't work. Hmm. Okay. Um, I, I've, I've gone completely blank. What, what, what am I thinking? What am I th You know what? The quest book. Hold on. The quest book. Refined storage. Crafting grid. Fluid grid. Pattern grid. Crafting monitor. Okay. Maybe I'm making it up. I swear that storage monitor. Oh. When can you see some this block will play the current number of an item within your network? Not that. Not that. I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I will go ahead and uh, accept this stuff because I don't know. It's going to save our machine churning away, making it all. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, honestly, a lot of this stuff I probably should read. And I probably will if I ever get stuck on one of these things because I imagine there's a lot of like um, extra features that I don't realize it can do. You know what I mean? Like, um, Pretty much any of these things. Or even just some generic helpful tips. What do we get? Storage parts, machine casing, quartz and rich silicon, improved processes, patterns. Looks like we got some upgrades. Cool. And basic processes. Nice. I'll take it. So yeah, I, I can't think of what the thing is. I swear it lets you search for crafting recipes. You know? 
Um, well, I guess we can look through these and just see if we see a picture of a netherite scrapper. And I'll tell you what, I simply don't. Which does concern me. Um, we can double check over here. Um, because we obviously automated the squeezer um, here. Oh, we do. Okay, yeah, we. Set, I guess we set him up and I didn't even realize. So, hold on. Ancient debris. What, what exactly is this going to do? Netherite divine. Okay, that's cool. Um, I think that lets you find ores. Um, you can probably read it, I guess. <laughs> what, tungsten and cut. Hold on. I'll bookmark this in case we want to make this guy. <laughs> um, yeah, we're currently squeezing with a 75% chance for a second. Alternatively, there is none. There is no alternative. Um, sweet. So yeah, we'll probably do that then. Ooh, ah, uh, hmm. Is there a way to Uno reverse? Ancient debris, infinite veins, create ore excavation. Me likey, but me also confused. But ore vein, ore vein finder. Oh, okay. I, I like this. This guy, I, I would need to get this netherite template, which you can just craft. No, you know, you'd be duplicating it. I've got to find it in a bastion, which should be doable. Or yeah, we can do some mine colonies. Okay. This guy also craftable. The drilling machine itself. It's an adventure, but it does appear doable. Like we could, we could automate a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. But yeah. Someone remind me. <laughs> Alternatively, what do we have? Tungsten. Because I was thinking if we can turn the stuff, we could also just, yeah, do a laser drill. That's probably the easy way to do it. Okay. Well, I mean, the way that we've got it is pretty much it. So if I search scrap and I order, what, 140 of this stuff, that should just process. And we should, if we're lucky, get double. So, so I guess that's a benefit. Ah, alternatively, ah, it's probably too late, isn't it? I'll, I'll go have a look, see if it's too late. Because alternatively, what we can do, let's go ahead and cancel that. Alternatively, we can attempt to do Fortune 3 and Auto Smelt, right? Auto Smelt is a thing, no is a thing from Ender.io that just cost us some goodies. So I can grab that out. We'll need a book and quill. When, when don't you, am I right, guys? Squid and feathers, automated, beautiful. I'll take them, thank you. Um, boom, 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 boom. Auto smelt. Okay. So, hold on. And so if I chuck this on here, I might get Fortune 3 applied to the finished product, right? I say we give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. So, for example, ancient debris. You ready? Give it a second, because we are on a server. What do we get? One. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna place down all 11, and we'll see if we end up with 12 or if we get a little bit more. All right. Okay, we got the perfect amount. It did smelt it though, so hey, credit where credit's due. Um, Ah, unlucky. Okay. Well, what do we have? Uh, 126. Well, in that case, I will go ahead and order 126. And we'll at least get a little bit of duplication happening. Okay, okay. Let's consult our clipboard. What, what what do we have left? The big reactor. We've got the reactor boom and big wow. That guy's a max level reactor over there. So that guy's done as well. The dragon egg. Yeah. Oh, the dragon egg, actually. You guys let me know um, that we're a little bit dumb. Just a tiny, just a teensy weensy bit, because, let me jump through here. Ah, I didn't, uh, did I bring a warp stone? I didn't that, beautiful. Um, because when we killed the dragon, which I believe we did, <laughs> I think we did, I think there was an episode for it, it dropped an egg and I just didn't grab it. So, it should be here. Oh, <laughs> how polite of people. All right, so yeah, I need this guy. So, I think what you do is you hit him, he goes somewhere else, you then grab a torch, I will borrow you, please. Thank you. I'll try to remember to put that back. And you go ahead and dig under. You place a torch. 
and then it falls. Boop. And then you get a dragon egg. Yay. <laughs> um, so, apparently each time I'll respawn this guy and defeat him, we will get a dragon egg. A dragon egg will spawn. So that's pretty cool. Alternatively, and I don't think I'd feel too bad about this. I I'd love to hear your, your opinions on this. Um, wait, you'll be invincible, but what did it cost? Huh. Gives you strength and regen. I mean, that does sound really good. But what did it cost? Hmm, interesting. Um, the thing I'm talking about is either a dragon B or possibly um, crafting it out of dragon egg chunks. But I think that's completely different. You get that from um, dragon seeds, of course. But you get those from dragon scales. And I think we can do that. You just need, obviously, insanium. So I think we're good. I do think we're good. I think I crossed um, past a, yeah, one over here. Go ahead and head back home. We've got a warp stone on us, but blah, 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 blah. You know, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we, we have a dragon here. I could make the squids just spawn in air, but it's fine. We'll just hold on to that guy for now. Um, so, oh yeah, the last one was unusing. There's an enchant called unusing. And allegedly, your tools become unusable when they only have one durability left. So they shouldn't break. That's the concept, at least. Now, if we put that in an ore hammer, it's possible that it won't get used. Maybe. Um, we have it on this diamond pickaxe, which is pretty neat. Um, so I'm going to have to take all the enchants off it. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and get a book of disenchanting. There's some machines that can do this, but we've got this guy set up, so why not? And I think you do this and you shift right click the grave. And you'll strip the enchants off. We get mending, auto smelt, unbreaking, and unusing. Excellent. So, once again, once again. This guy that has mending will get unusing. And let's give it a shot. Worst case, it breaks and we put mending on a different hammer, right? <laughs> um, oh, I'm also curious as to whether unbreaking would work. Specifically in terms of the crafting recipe in here. So, for example, he has 256 durability. And so, if I put in... I guess that won't really matter. If I if I order a stack of this stuff... Hmm, two stacks of this stuff. That should be 64 removed from this. Which I believe it is. Right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so the question is though, if I pull all this stuff out, will it break? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Survey says, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, it does. All right. Or hammer. What have we got? Platinum is the best one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Great, 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 great. Okay, platinum. Awesome. Oh, I'd love to use an ore hammer to, you know, help you out there, buddy. But sadly, that's not the way this cookie crumbles. All right, one, two, and we have a hammer. Beautiful. And we have it with mending. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> All right, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Let's chuck that stuff back in there to process. Cool. Awesome. So... Uh, what is left to do? What is left to do? Uh, we tried out unusing. Unlucky. It was worth a try, to be honest. Um, we've got the dragon egg. We're just not going to use it for that yet. So all this stuff's done. I'm going to erase the checked items. Sweet. So. What did I want to do? <laughs> I, feel, I mean, that's pretty much the episode done, right? I mean, not a bad thing. You know, we, we knocked some stuff off. Got some stuff done. Did a lot of auto crafting. Um... I'm just trying to think, was there anything else I wanted to sort of check on? This guy I kind of want to check on, see what he's doing. Mm, he could do with some better stack upgrade. And not the end of the world, but, you know, he could do with them. Um, this all can turn into iron, right? Yeah, if we wanted to. That's an option. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, I will check in on my quarry. That guy's been running a while. Maybe we can get him to full throttle at the end of this episode. Like, give him uh, even more power. Um, I will go check the potential hole he has made over yonder. 
All right, so this is what we're looking at now. Obviously, that's him over there getting the job done. I believe these are clouds that we're looking at. That makes sense. Um, so we'll jump down here below the cloud levels and you can already see all of our, all the modium. So I'm going to go through and pick that stuff up. We've got fortune. We, uh, do I want a silk touch or fortune? It's a great question. Oh, Anyway, um, that stuff, I'm pretty sure like if you've got a bunch of these running, it can be a bit stressful on the server. So, you know, keep, keep things like that in mind. Um, all the modium, all of it, every last drop of the modium, this stuff, unless you have a crusher spirit, I don't think matters. There's no real processing. Um, the raw ore, you can double it. That's option number one. It's pretty much the only option. So... Honestly, we're probably better off using our fortune auto smelt. Let's have a look. So instead of one, we receive three. That's pretty good. Is it? Hmm. Yeah. Because um. I think if we didn't have auto smelt, it would drop three of these ores and then we could double those. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to head home. I'm going to take the enchant off that. Oh, which I can't do easily because this guy won't have a soul left because I just used him. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm reading you. Loud and clear, buddy. Loud and clear. Uh, okay, we need to make a machine. <laughs> um, I don't... How much time do we have? Oh, we've got time. We've got, we've got time. This guy's still not done it. This guy's... He's struggling. I'll tell you that much. Is it because it's like going into this? Like, has this guy gotten a bunch more? Oh, he's also, oh. He's on extract only. Oh, but I guess he's picking up all the rest of the junk. Yeah, okay, so I need to move him. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I could lower him a bit. Um, it's still, I, I'll be honest, I'm surprised he's... Okay. What's that? That's there. So if we go one, two. Hmm. I mean, it, it still shouldn't be picking that stuff up. So I'm not sure what all this mess is, to be honest. I'm going to pretend that it's something separate. By the way, in case you were curious, um, this is how the chest is holding up. We have 300 blaze rods. So that's pretty good. Um, bunch of ender pills. Well, decent amount of ender pills, to be honest. Uh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, this guy, he's just going to fill up with junk. Um, I will have a quick look underneath for obvious reasons. This guy's only going to get essence and I don't think he'll accept the other stuff. So I think he actually is fine. Um, I, uh, yeah, I smelted it. <sighs> uh, can we get a disenchanter? Mm. Mm. Disenchantment. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I can make this thing apparently. Sandpaper and copper casing. And this will just disenchant stuff. All received items will have the enchantments removed. And removed enchantments will be converted to liquid experience. Oh, but it will like get rid of them. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, I, I, I like it. <laughs> I think we're better off just doing the grave still though. Hmm. Okay. Uh, alternatively, can I chuck this guy here? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. The other thing I wanted though was the enchantment applicator. This guy's going to cost some stuff, so we'll get them ordered. Uh, three anvils as well are on the menu. So let's go iron here and we're going to have to let this guy know what's up. Six of those. See if we can get those made. Um, anvil. Get three of these made. Boom. Um, and what this guy should allow us to do is some pretty shifty stuff. Specifically with, oh, how do we not have plastic? That seems like bogus. Um, specifically with something that I can't think of right now. Let's grab all these. Um, with enchanting books, like with uh, making them bigger and better. So put all this stuff away. 
grab out that and I will chuck it in my smelting bag because that's what it's there for. Cool. <laughs> um, so this guy is ready to go, the chairman navigator. He will need experience. Our experience is still somehow our low point. We still don't have that much of it. And it does confuse me as to how we have such little. I don't know if it's just because obviously the cursed mobs aren't spawning when I'm not here. I mean, that makes sense. Doesn't make it that much less confusing though, to be honest. Um, anyhow. Yeah, so this guy's just going to need some of that liquid too, I believe. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, I will go ahead and do this, this, that, and this. I'm also going to make sure that the Piper upgrade is set to do... What, what is he set to do? He's just going to do nearest first, so he'll fill this guy up and then the next guy. That's fine. Huh? Where'd the fluid XP go? Is it broken or something? Right? Cause like, I'm not getting the thing. We don't have an enchanted book. Um, I don't believe this guy auto inputs. It's possibly does mate. Is that what's happening? I don't think it is, but I suppose it could be. I feel like we'd have more unbreaking though. Hmm. All right, well, anyhow, um, I, I'm going to break this so that it can stop getting that stuff. And we'll pretend that's fine. Hopefully water down there isn't a problem. I don't think it is. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What's it? Oh, I didn't like the sound of that blade. It sounded like actual burning. Uh, what's happening? Why am I frozen? Okay, fluid XP is going in here. Enchantment applicator. Cool. What I want to do now is mess around with fortune. Or at least I want to, I want to see if we can. I think we can, but we need to find out if we can. So Fortune 3 is craftable a number of ways, as you can see here. The way that we'll be doing it is with this guy here. So it's going to be Emeralds and Lapis. So we'll grab Emeralds, we'll grab that, and then we'll grab Book and Quills. I'm going to make as many as it lets me, so prepare. Oh, they're not stackable. That's fine. Boom, and then I will craft these guys. I need more XP. That's fine. Uh, Narrator ah, narrates no. all. Oh, Diamond bat uh, narrator. Oh, control Nar B. Narrator. Narrator. Okay. okay. Oh. Everything's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. Um Yeah, let's grab that many levels. <laughs> That's totally worth it. Um, okay. I know I'm wasting some stuff here, but it's it's in theory it's fine. So we'll grab that. We'll grab that. And so I'm just gonna make as many oh, I'm already out. Oh you oh it eats it. Oh. Oh yeah, that was very bad. Okay. That's We'll pretend it's fine. So what I was going to try to do <laughs> for starters is put this in here and be like, oh, wow, look, fortune. Wow, fortune three. Wow. Um, but I also wanted to see if we can combine them. So chucking both of these in here, you can't even do it. You can't. Oh, you know what? You had to do it differently, didn't you? You had to place it on something and then enchant it that way. That's, I believe. Oh, what's about to happen? <gasps> fortune four. Oh. And then you would disenchant this and put Fortune 4 back into your system. And that was like the fun little thing you could do. Okay, cool. Well, there you go. Um, the only problem is this guy's just... He just doesn't work. For whatever reason. I'm not sure what, what I'm missing here. Let me know if you have an idea as to why this guy... Uh, simply put, doesn't work. Output. Oh, he is set to push. It must be going in here. I think it's fine. It's just this guy takes so much uh, experience to work. Um, it was suggested to try out like some efficiency upgrades. I'm going to get, I'm going to order four of each. I know we don't need four of each, but um, then we'll be able to, you know, test and we'll use them in future mission. You know what I mean? It's, it's win, win, win. How do we not have sugar? That seems like the biggest scam I've ever heard in my life. Us not having sugar. We have a ridiculous amount of sugar production. <laughs> Okay, let's go add on, what's that? Two efficiency upgrades, great, wonderful. You love to see it. Get some speed upgrades going and some processing ones. All right, four efficiency add-ons, only one goes in, cool. I hope that that works. You are horrifically sounding. Speed upgrades, only one can go in and then I guess the rest will be the other one. So we can do the same here. Chuck some of those in there, that should be good. All that's left are 
processing upgrades. Or at least that's what I'm waiting on. I, I think it still wants to craft some more stuff, but that's fine. We'll get there. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll keep this guy running again, I guess. Why not? Why not? Hook him up. Let that try to do its thing. I guess it is pushing it in here, so hopefully we'll start gathering some fortune at some point. I also, what am I hearing? Oh, I don't feel lucky anymore. Unlucky, dude. Oh, hey. Uh, are we good? <sighs> Processing. Cool. Boom. Two of you in there. Two of you in there. Cool. Alright, whatever. I think that's fine then. Um, all I need then is a soul <laughs> to disenchant this guy. And it looks like I'm going to be waiting on that. So, <sighs> yeah. That's sort of where we're at. Alright, cool. Well, we'll work on that next episode. I'll get some, uh, what you call it, all the modium next episode. Um, we do still have two more of these ender gates. I could very quickly snap up some entangled blocks. I would, of course, need to grab um, these ender pearls out. Possibly um, we could hook up our mob chest to the system to gain access to those. Um, but it's fine. We'll grab this for now. And I'll show you the last setup just before we go here. Because it should be pretty good. So this guy here. Currently, 10,000 EU, as seen up here. Electric units, we'll say. Whatever. We'll select this, place this guy here, entangle him. Awesome. I will slap these on it. And now we are up to 20,000 EU, or 80,000 in here. So he'll fill up super fast, he'll empty super fast, bada bing, bum, boom, bing, boom. You know? Um, so if we wanted to, we would order more. I kind of do want to. We probably will order more. Alternatively, we could do pipe upgrades with... Um, yeah, and just like attach it that the, the good old fashioned way. Um, can I afford one of these? Survey says I would need four netherite. One, two, three, four. Well, someone tell that survey that I'm ready to order the thing. How do we not have nuggets? That's just, it's a joke. It's a comedic joke that nobody finds funny. <laughs> All right, the episode's almost done. I, I, I swear, guys. I promise. What? What it did? It, it ate my netherite. <laughs> How'd you eat my netherite, man? I'm a simple netherite farmer. All right, let's craft as many as it lets me. Fifty-four, beautiful. All right, try not to eat that. Right, pipe upgrade. <laughs> um, I am wondering. Ender cell. Could we get a nitro ender cell? That'd be nice, right? Ender cell nitro. Even an energy cell nitro. Energy cell nitro. Um, ender cell nitro. I think ender cell nitro is better because it will move more stuff and it'll be completely... I, I think it's just better. It's just simply better, okay? Remain calm. We've already got nitro crystals. I'm just making an ender cell. The reason is... I don't believe I can attach um, off of these. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I can use the ender gate to power a cable without giving it a, um, like, some sort of energy battery, right? Pick that guy back up. See? So, instead, what we'll do, we'll pick that stuff up. So, this guy's back at 10,000. We will go ahead and connect these. Like so. I'm clearly going to have to go get some more, but that's fine. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's get a pipe. Boom, 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 boom. One stack, please. Please. Come on. I'm. Li you can hear me actively losing brain cells as we continue here. It's <laughs> terrific. All right. Um, and while we're here, we'll go underneath as well. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All of this is connected. I will place an ender cell. Um, we are going to go ahead and set this guy to extract. This guy's on the main network, full of all that power. Cool. Um, currently, it's barely any extra, but that's fine because I forgot to grab the pipe upgrade. Let's now see. I don't actually. I haven't. I didn't look at what this guy does. You ready? Boom. He does only a hundred and thirty thousand per tick. Uh, but hey, it's enough. I think because it's connected to enough sides, it, it, it works. Um, so this we can pick back up. Yeah, there's definitely a limit uh, to the side that this guy can accept power. 
So this is max speed. So we can actually go ahead, fly over in this direction. It might be a little bit jumpy. Um, you can actually see on the map all the way down to end. I don't even know if I, we must not be getting all of the stuff then. Let's fall down and have a look. All right, it started in the end, but it, yeah, it hasn't gone through it. Um, this is the speed at which it's running. This is as fast as I can get it going at the moment, I believe. Pretty cool. Is there anything in the end that we want, guys? Is there reason to push this further or should we just be happy with what we got? Because currently I'm, I'm kind of happy with what we got. You know what I mean? Cool. Uh, but that's the end of the episode. Um, Yeah, we're done here. That's all, folks. <laughs> what if that was my outro? I just go... That's all, folks. And then end the, end the video. And that's just what I, what I did. <laughs> These episodes would be about 20 minutes shorter. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Um, hopefully you're having a good time. I think we're making some good progress. Um, I thought it was a good idea doing this little thing um, with the clipboard. I get to credit people easier than like scrolling through the comments um, while I'm recording. Um, and we get we have just a nice view of like what we have to get done. You know what I mean? Um, let me know what you thought. Obviously, I won't do it every episode. If I've if I've got an idea, like if I'm doing it all processing, you know, I'm, I probably won't be too fussed about like you know, putting a dragon egg in that guy, for example. But um, yeah, I, I thought it worked well. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having fun. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Um, I think it's going pretty well. I'm pretty happy with what we're doing here. I'm enjoying it when I play. Um, yeah, I forgot we. <laughs> There's so many things there. It's like I just forgot we built it. But I think it's nice. This glob of trees, I think, is, like, spoiling it a bit. We've also got to put, like, a roof on that, I reckon. I'm just trying to look at, like, what needs to be done. Our processing area is kind of gross. I'm wondering if I commit to it and we, like, concrete up that area with, like, some gray concrete or something and do, like, some hazard signs or something. You know what I mean? Make it look properly how it is. Um, and then that area is pretty gross as well. They can be easily done. Even this can be easily uh, fixed. Yeah, I, I just need, I just need like a day of inspiration. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, ho hopefully you guys are having fun. Um, thank you to our donators and channel members. Genuinely, thank you guys. Don't feel pressured to become a channel member or donate or any of that. Um, don't feel pressured at all. Um, but thank you to those of you who have. Thank you guys. Uh, and yeah, I believe that's it. I'm just, usually at this point I go and just double check that what the deal is, what's happening. Um, I believe that is it. Okay, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I need a, oh, I need a thumbnail. The problem with these episodes where I do a bunch of small things is well, uh, what, what's the episode? Like, what is it? What, what's, what's, the, what's the thumbnail? Because I could do the quarry, but then like that's, that wasn't really what the episode was about. The episode wasn't really about anything. We just played the game. <laughs> oh God. Um, great question. And I cleared all the, all the things, all the helpful tips that I just followed. I cleared. Um, ah, you know what? We did the diamond crafters. Yeah. What a great thumbnail that'll be. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll, I'll get that. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.